What? All right, yay, I have viewers. All right, welcome back, everybody. You know, we were just live just a couple of minutes ago, um, bringing home Aries, Orion, and Artemis from Funcation. But apparently, because of the time of year, the grass isn't growing like crazy, so we're able to just swap them out. So right now we're putting together three different sections of the tunnel, and that's going to be for Miss Armani Leopard here. 22-year-old Leopard it is going to be her turn to go to our 22,000 square feet funcation. If you miss any of the lives we do today, make sure you rewatch them at dailybigcat.com or right there on our Facebook page. She is on the move because she knows what's happening. She's a regular. You know the drill of all this. So, Miss Armani getting ready to go on funcation. She's just patiently watching everybody put together the top. she'll be out there for a month I'm not sure two weeks to a month <laughs> she's on the move it's because she's chasing the treat lady Catherine <laughs> Got a lot of pep in that step today, lady. He knows the drill. So she's gonna get some treats along the way and then get her full breakfast once she's over there. So Catherine and Dylan and Jamie have put together this section over here. Um, and then there's two more sections we still have to put together. So there's still all these doors and tunnels to be connected. Right now Manny is safely locked away because Armani does have to pass through part of his enclosure. Hi. Hi, sir. This is Manny Jaguar. I'm sorry it's not your turn, bud bud. Don't you sharpen those teeth at me. locked over because Armani will have to make the trip through this back section, through this tunnel, has to go through this front part of Manny's enclosure. Going to end up in that corner over there where you see Jamie and Trevor. And then one more little patch that goes across the road and into Funcation. I know, a couple more minutes and you're going. She's a prime example. She's like, look, this is how the tunnel system works from one area to another. <laughs> something new. That's something new. Hey, silly. Thank you again to all of the people in the comments that make these lives so much easier on me. So I can just let you guys enjoy the cats while you guys all help each other out in the comments. I really, really appreciate that. It 
was a fast turnaround. This is a totally different type of climate for the year, so it's not like summertime where as soon as you mow the grass, it's ready to be mowed again. <laughs> This is actually Manny Jaguar that we're looking at right now. He's just being all calm, watching everything that's happening. Armani is behind me. We're going to follow her once she starts on the move. But you can see over there, there's still two more sections of tunnel that we've got to put together. Figured you'd rather see a cat than people clipping a bunch of wire together. Thank you, Robbie, for the donation. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia, for the donation. He is being very calm. Thank you, Beth, for the donation. So, Mr. Manny, just observing everything that's happening. Walk back over to Armani. Wow. It's almost time, lady. One more tunnel. One more tunnel. Oh, she's just going to keep walking this circle until we're ready. So right where you see them standing, there's that's our last little bit of tunnel that needs put together. Where are you going? Are we zooming? Thanks, Karen, for your donation. just gonna stay here and we'll keep catching her as she comes by. <laughs> All of our information for all of our guided tours is at bigcatrescue.org slash tickets. Wow. So whether you want to do the guided tours, or a kids tour, or a private tour, feeding tours, keeper tours, all that information is on our website. Different pricing for different things. Melissa, the oldest cat on property, is a bobcat named Tiger Lily. She's 24 years old. We've had a black leopard that lived to be 25, and we've had a cougar that was just shy of 30 years old. Thank you, Anna, for the donation. <laughs> wow, hurry up, people. Hurry up, people.
So, Scott, that's a good question. Do the Caracals get Funcation? They have um, before. I believe both of them have gone. Um, the problem with a lot of the smaller cats is it absolutely stresses them out to move them. They're, it's only really the medium-sized to large cats here that all have the tunnel systems like this. So for any of the smaller cats, the way we have to um, move them to Funcation is with a transport crate. Some of the cats, that is no big deal to them whatsoever. It just takes a couple treats to get them in the crate, and then we physically carry them to Funcation. Um, but not all of them like that. Many, many, many of the bobcats actually absolutely hate it. Um, so there's a lot of the elusive shy cats that just don't go, and that's their own choice. We've offered it to them, but if it's too stressful for them, then there's really no point. That's a good idea. That's a much better vantage point. Yes, Scratch, one of our cougars, was almost 30 years old when he passed away. So again, this is Armani Leopard. She's 22 years old. She's going to have her turn on Funcation. Those ages just go to show you, you know, the great care that you as supporters help supply to them. All of your donations, every time you share one of these feeds or one of our posts on Facebook or Instagram, and you're helping spread our message, um, then we get new supporters and new people that are extremely passionate about caring for these cats and fixing the problems on how these cats ended up in captivity to begin with. So thank you guys very much for everything you guys do. Um, Flint will not be going on Funcation probably anytime soon, but that's because of the wire size. Um, Flint can only go in a 2x4, two 2-inch four, two by 4-inch wire. Funcation is 4x4, four four, so as long as we think he's small enough to be able to squeeze out, he will not be going to Funcation. And that goes for any of the cats that are in the 2x4 wire. That's why you don't see any of the Savannas go, um, Diablo, or... Uh, well, Beecher is in 4x4, four four, so I, and I don't know if they've tried him out there or not. But most of the small, small cats know, and that's because of the wire size. I think it's almost time, lady. Only a couple more clips. Again, if anybody's brand new in the feed, let us know that you're new. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. No, we can't just change the wire size in 22,000 square feet. <laughs> no, Mary, we're a completely no-touch facility. We're an accredited sanctuary. We're a true sanctuary, so we don't buy them, sell them, trade them, breed them, or touch them. We don't allow any kind of public contact. We feel that that's disrespectful to them. If they were living in the wild, they'd never allow you to do that, so trapping them in a cage to pet them just seems cruel. Oh, I think we're ready. You're here indoors. Yeah. <laughs> so ready. Woo. But all of their home enclosures are, thank you, Michael, for the donation, are between 1,200 and 1,800 square feet, and then they are built in multiple sections where they have tunnels and doors, like what you're seeing Armani walk through. And so we can expand their cages into different sections, move them around. We never go in the enclosures with them. So Catherine's gonna walk her around. We're gonna watch her come through Manny's enclosure. She's a moving. So Manny is locked safely over here with two doors and a pole between him and her. Good job, Manny. She's like, I don't need those snacks. Armani, come on, baby.
Keep going, lady. Only got one way to go. Only one way to go. Yay. Good job. All right, she's just got two more turns. Good girl. You're so good. Oh, there were treats involved. You should have gone slower. You should have gone slower. You get more treats. I'm pretty sure she already knows. <laughs> she just didn't get breakfast, so. <laughs> good job. All these neighbors tell each other all their tricks. Good girl! Woohoo! Yeah! So she's gonna eat the rest of her meal over in Lockout. Uh, Mary, yes, we encourage all the photos and videos that you would want to take when you come visit. If you ever go to a facility where they tell you you are not allowed to have, take photos or videos, you are in a bad, bad place. <laughs> they are hiding stuff. Good job! Oh my word. Oh, I know, I'm just having to like avoid your head. <laughs> yeah, she did take up the whole plate. So this is a feeding lockout for those of you that are new. Looks like we have a lot of new people in this feed. So Armani gets very small cut up pieces. She's one of our special diet cats. And we tend to spread it all over her plate so it makes her eat a little bit slower. But she's in a feeding lockout so there's a slab in there that would be where we put all the food. That's They also know they can come in here and find fresh water. And then we can close a guillotine door. So if we ever need to close them into a smaller space for the vet to take a good look at them. Again, if you um, wanna know a cat's true age, take their real age and times it by six and that's what they would be like in human years. She's very, very old for, for her species, that's for sure. Thank you again to everybody helping all the new people understand what it is that they're seeing. This is a 22-year-old leopard named Armani here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. She's finishing up breakfast. Yeah, well, I know a lot of older people that their skin definitely sags with age, so it's no different for cats. She's still absolutely gorgeous. Such a gorgeous cat. Better get every last piece. You've got two more pieces. Find a stick. Armani, there's one one piece. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, are you gonna have fun? You get a whole month out here, lady. Your forehead looks really good. A lot of you that follow us regularly know that she had a lump on her forehead that several weeks ago Dr. Justin removed, and thankfully it was nothing serious. Did you find a treat? All right, so there she goes, 22,000 square feet. Lots of new dens, lots of new things for her to do. New toys, new smells. 
It's gonna be very, very busy for a while. Good job, lady. Well, thank you guys, everybody who donated, everybody who asked great questions and joined us. We're gonna be going live again a little later when we start moving our tigers. So I'm gonna go charge my phone. Thank you guys.